What's up everyone, AMG64 here, welcome back to another video and today I'll be doing a movie review on Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. So I finally watched the movie on Saturday, well last Saturday of course, uh, and I think the movie was amazing, it was actually fantastic, the animation was great, the characters were great, including uh, the development, even the plot too, the plot was wild though, it was very crazy. So, what I'm doing right now, I am going to do a review on this movie, like, just to show you guys some of my thoughts on this movie, and I'll be getting myself into some details, like, like not so much, but just a little, just a little detail. But, before we begin this movie review, uh, if you guys haven't seen Across the Spider-Verse, there might be spoilers in this video, so, if you haven't seen the movie, check it out, it's actually amazing. But when you're done checking out, uh, Across the Spider-Verse, then you'll come back to this uh, movie review video. So without further ado, let's get into the review. We are going to talk about the plot for the movie. Well, the plot of the movie, actually. Um, so, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse is about Miles Morales and Gwen traveling to the Spider-Verse. But they entered in Spider-Society where they see like different kinds of Spider-People. Like, for example, the Ultimate Spider-Man, uh, Sp Spider-Rex, you know, the Tyrannosaurus Rex, but Spider-Man. Um, other different types of Spider-People, like the Lego Spider-Man, for example, made it a cameo appearance. appearance. And the video game one, the, the video game Spider-Man. And there are so many cameras and references, though. It's, it's just amazing, dude. Like, it's crazy. Like, so many Spider-People there. And also, there is this one specific Spider-Man I really want to talk about is Miguel Ojero, a.k.a. Spider-Man 2099. Like, oh my gosh, that Spider-Man was a menace. Such a menace. Like, in the beginning of the movie, when he first met Gwen while fighting against a uh, Vulture. Yeah, Vulture. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, man. Like... I was not expecting Spider-Man 2099 just to have fangs try like to bite down Vulture. Like that's crazy, man. And we have to talk about the chase, you know. The chase scene was wild. Like there's like a whole bunch of Spider-Man chasing Miles Morales. Even Miguel O'Hare was chasing him down too. Like like oh my gosh, like bro just slammed Miles Morales right on the train, dude. Just slammed it on the ground like Dude, the chasing was crazy. I was just so shocked. Right, right after the chase scenes, Miles Morales escaped the Spider-Verse. But he went to the wrong universe known as Earth-42 where he meets uh, Uncle Aaron. But did not see his dad because the dad died actually in that universe. And the mom was confused that she doesn't even know who Spider-Man is at all. And... And Miles Morales met the other Miles Morales, who is the Prowler, who is supposed to be Spider-Man in Earth-42. You know, the spider known as 42, which is supposed to change Earth-42 Miles Morales into Spider-Man. But instead, our Miles Morales became Spider-Man. But that Miles Morales is the Prowler. So, yeah. Like... It's crazy though. It's, it's it's just so crazy, man. But we're gonna talk about Spider-Man 2099. Uh, he explained about the canon events. Like for example, when Peter Parker's uncle named Uncle Ben died, that's the canon event. But if the canon event is interrupted, then the multiverse of Spider-Man is could like be destroyed or something something like that like being destroyed if the can event was like interrupted i'm like wow the can events are crazy man like i mean it's supposed to happen in every spider-man universe though like when spider-man loses like a the person who he loves or who he cares for the, that person dies that's a can event for spider-man but if it's interrupted then <sighs> The multiverse of Spider-Man is going to be destroyed. Same thing what happened to uh, Miguel O'Hara. He has a daughter. But the daughter died though. Because. Well. 
he went to that universe after that version of Miguel O'Hara died. And one of the characters I really want to talk about is the Spot. Well, the Spot is like the the joke villain. Well, and now he just became the threat of the multiverse, which is crazy. Hear me out. The origin of uh the Spot. Okay, you know in to the Spider Verse, right? Miles Morales threw a bagel right at this man, and then he became like the Spot. So he, so bro became the Spot, which is crazy. Like imagine you being hit by a bagel, then he just became the threat to the multiverse. That is called the bagel effect. Like the bagel effect was just so crazy. I just pretty much laughed that this man got hit by a bagel that Miles Morales threw at. Dude, the bagel effect is crazy. Like, imagine the bagel just changing your entire life just to make you become the super villain to the multiverse. Like, that's crazy, man. That's crazy. But it was pretty much foreshadowing when the spot gained so much power. Like, seriously, it's going to foreshadow what will happen in the next Spider-Man movie known as Beyond the Spider-Verse. We're going to see that next year, though. And that's the plot up across the Spider-Verse. That's, I mean, that's all what I can think of. We're pretty much doing like a trilogy of Spider-Man, Miles Morales. So, yeah, I'm still excited to see Beyond the Spider-Verse next year. It comes out around in uh, March 2024 next year. I'm still excited to see the movie though, but in the end of the movie, it just shows us the uh, the to be continued screen though. Well, that kind of got me mad, but that's okay though. It's still a good movie though, and I'm still excited for uh, Beyond the Spider Verse. But anyway, spoilers ahead. Um, there was this game, you like Peter Pork and Penny Parker, and the rest of the game from Into the Spider Verse. They're back. I was like, holy crap, they're back. The game is back. Like, dude, I am so excited. I am so excited for uh, Beyond the Spider-Verse next year. When it, like, comes out. I'm very excited, so. This movie was a 10 out of 10. I gave, like, a 10 out of 10. I was about to give, like, a 9 out of 10 because the the to be continue screen. So, so, I'm just going to say, like, it's just... I don't know, like maybe like a 9 out of 10 or a 10 out of 10. Maybe like a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 is okay, though. So, yeah, uh, that's my movie review. So, hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, hit the subscribe button, like the video, and turn on notifications. Also, leave a comment down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.